Hey everyone! If your controller isn't working in 2x Geo, or you're dealing with annoying input delay that's killing your gameplay, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to fix every controller issue in 2x Geo, so you can get back to playing without lag, glitches, or missed inputs. Stick with me till the end, because some of these fixes are hidden and not widely known, but they work 100% on PC. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, because I upload daily gaming fixes and optimization tips that actually work. Let's fix your controller issues in 2xKO right now. 1. Verify controller connections. Whether you are using Steam or Game Pass, let's get started. Before making changes, ensure that your controller is properly connected. If you're using a wired controller, try a different USB port. If you're using a Bluetooth controller, go to Windows Settings Bluetooth and Devices check if your controller shows up. Make sure your controller appears in the connected devices list. If the controller is connected but unresponsive, simply restart your PC and reconnect the controller. Now let's move to the next step. 2. Configure controller settings in Steam. If you're playing the game on Steam, make sure your controller settings are correctly applied. Open Steam. Go to the View option and select Big Picture Mode. Navigate to Settings Controller Settings. Here, enable the appropriate configuration for your controller. For Xbox controllers, turn on Xbox Configuration Support. For PlayStation controllers, enable PlayStation Configuration Support. For Switch Pro controllers, enable Steam Input for Switch Pro controllers. If Steam asks for additional Xbox extended features, install them, then restart Steam. Now save the settings and restart Steam to apply changes. 3. Disable Steam Input for the game. Some games have issues with Steam Input overriding native controller support. To fix this, open your Steam library. Right-click the game. Select Properties. Go to the Controller tab. Under Override for the game, choose Disable Steam Input. This allows the game to use its own native controller support instead of Steam's. 4. Adjust controller bindings in Steam. If your controller buttons are mapped incorrectly or unresponsive, you may need to adjust the bindings. Open Steam and go to your library. Select the game. Click Manage Controller Layout. Here, you can remap your gamepad buttons or load community layouts that may already be optimized for the game. This is especially useful if you're using a DualShock or DualSense controller. 5. Restart Steam and relaunch the game. Sometimes a quick restart resolves controller issues. Close Steam completely. Unplug the controller and plug it back in. Restart Steam and then launch the game, making sure your controller is connected before starting the game. 6. Check Windows Gamepad Settings. If your controller still doesn't work, check the Windows Gamepad Settings. Open Windows Settings, Bluetooth, and Devices. Look for your controller under the Connected Devices list. If it's missing, try pairing again using Bluetooth or connect it via USB. This ensures Windows itself recognizes the device before the game can use it. 7. Check in-game controller settings. Open 2XKO and go to Settings Controller. Ensure your controller type matches your hardware. Sometimes the game defaults to keyboard, causing input delay. Also, make sure vibration settings or sensitivity sliders aren't causing lag. 8. Update and optimize drivers the right way. Go to your GPU manufacturer's website, NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel, and download the latest Game Ready or Adrenaline driver, not the one from Windows Update. After installing, open your GPU control panel and make these changes. NVIDIA, set power management mode to prefer maximum performance. AMD, enable Radeon chill only if you have overheating issues, otherwise keep it off. Intel Arc, turn on threaded optimization and set scaling to performance. This ensures your GPU isn't throttling in the middle of combat. 9. Reinstall controller drivers. If the issue persists, reinstall your controller drivers. Right-click the Windows icon and select Device Manager. Expand Human Interface Devices. Find your controller right-click choose Uninstall Device. Restart your PC and Windows will automatically reinstall the drivers. 10. Check for Windows Updates. Outdated system files can cause controller detection issues. Open Windows Settings. Go to Windows Update. Click Check for Updates, Install Everything Available, and Restart Your PC. 11. Try Third-Party Controller Software. If Steam and Windows settings don't fix the problem, try third-party controller software. For PlayStation controllers, 
Use DS4 windows. For remapping issues, try ReWSD or similar tools to map buttons manually. This often resolves compatibility problems when the game doesn't detect your controller properly. 12. Enable Virtual Memory Boost page file. Press Windows plus R type SYSTM.CPL Enter. Go to Advanced Tab Settings under Performance. Go to Advanced Tab again click Change under Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage. Select your C drive choose custom size. Initial size, 4096. Maximum size, 8192. Apply and reboot. This helps your system recover from memory overflows caused by loading zones or online syncing. 13. Check Microsoft Visual C++ and DirectX. Download and install both x64 and x86 versions of the latest Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables for the years 2015 through 2022. You can find the official download page on the Microsoft website. Also install the DirectX end user runtime by downloading it from the official Microsoft site. After installing these packages, restart your computer again and test the game. 14. Ensure Windows and Drivers are fully updated. Go to Settings, Windows Update and check for updates. Install any pending updates and restart your PC. Registry Cleanup. If you've swapped controllers multiple times, old mappings may linger in the registry. Press Windows plus R, type regedit, and hit Enter. Navigate to hky underscore current underscore user backslash system backslash current control set backslash control backslash media properties backslash private properties backslash joystick. Delete old controller entries you don't use anymore. Then restart your PC. And that's it. By following these steps, your controller should be working perfectly with zero input delay. If one fix doesn't work, try the next. It's all about finding the right combination for your PC setup. If this video helped you, hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends who are struggling with 2XKO controller issues. Comment below if you want me to make a full 2XKO optimization guide for maximum FPS and responsiveness. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.